Alrighty, so another Warframe video, and this time I'm going to take a quick look at Saren, which is another one of the female Warframes. Now Saren is an offensive Warframe, which deals venomous attacks. She has a decent health pool and armor pool, which makes her a lot more tanky compared to other female Warframes like Nova, Nyx, and all the other chicks. Now where Nova is renowned for having that ass, Saren definitely has a big old ghetto booty. Uh, which definitely rivals Nova's, although not as big as Rhino's ass. So I'll quickly show you her stats. She has a base health pool of 150, which will rise to 450 at um, level 30 without mods. She has base energy of 100, which will rise to 150 at 30, and base shield of 100, which will rise to 300 at 30. Now she has got a decent sprint speed. So to get her blueprint components, you will need to kill Kella the Tame on Mero on Sedna. She will need to be decently geared and level to farm her parts. Now as far as abilities go for me, and my playstyle, I rarely use all of her abilities, but I'll show you her four abilities and you guys can decide whether or not you want to run with one or more of her abilities. So her first ability is called Venom, which costs 25 energy. It basically poisons the target for 4 to 10 damage, taking up to 6 times a second for 15 seconds. The damage can be increased with a Focus mod and its time can be increased with a Continuity or Constitution mod. Now if you destroy one of these infections, it does spread to nearby enemies, but it doesn't do a whole load of damage being honest with you. So our second ability is called Molt which also costs 25 energy. It's basically where Sauron will shed her skin and leaves a decoy which enemies will automatically start to attack. So this basically is an oh shit ability which can get enemies off your back when you're in, in deep trouble. It can also last up for 20 seconds or until it is destroyed and it can be reused instantly. So basically if you're in trouble pop this, enemies will attack it, you can run away for your shields and health to regen and then just come back and wipe out the enemies. Now her third ability is called Contagion which costs 50 energy. So basically what Saren does is she coats her blades in disease and poison and increases your melee damage by up to 75% as poison damage. It can be increased by a focus mod and it lasts up to 20 seconds unmodded I think and can be increased with a continuity and constitution mod as well. The damage from this is also increased by melee weapon mods like Killing Blow, Pressure Point, Rending Strike. So for all you guys who like running missions uh, with melee only weapons, this will definitely bring a smile to your face. Now her fourth and ultimate ability is called Miasma, which costs 100 energy. Saren pollutes the air with a poison mist which corrodes all enemies inside its radius. It basically melts them. It deals up to 250 poison damage per second for 4 seconds, which will be increased by a focus mod and a continuity and constitution mod as well. It has got a large radius of up to 10 meters in game, which is also increased by a stretch mod. You can basically fill half of a room almost on Zini and that and wipe out a shitload of guys all around the pod. It can also stun heavily armored enemies for up to 4 seconds if they don't die from the initial attack. So it is a really, really useful ability. Okay, so a lot of players running with Saren will only ever spam her Miasma, which can be very, very effective at clearing a room on low level defense missions or early, early waves on defense missions. But if you enjoy running more than just defense missions, then all of her abilities can come into play and make Saren shine among other Tenos. Basically when running solo, her Molt is extremely useful. It does give you that break from enemies and allows, like I said, your shield and health to regen if you're in, in, in deep shit, basically. As for her Contagion, if you enjoy running with melee weapons, slicing and dicing your way through missions, then the increase in melee damage will make it all that more easier for you to slaughter your enemies and, like I said, put that ever needed smile on your face. Now the only ability which for my playstyle I don't use is her Venom. I'm sure it's, it's really useful and plenty of people use it and, and will say re nothing but good things about it. But for me, enemies don't stay alive long enough with the weapons that I have at the minute, being Mastery Rank 8, for me to avail of it. Basically they die long before it'll ever get a chance to spread. Now on my Sauron I have stuck one form on her, which gives me that little boost to her mod capacity. But the main mods you're going to want is to use for Sauron are... A stretch mod for range, like I said, a continuity and a constitution for both power duration, and a focus for increased damage to all her abilities. Whatever you choose to add after that is entirely up to you, whether it's a boost to speed or shield, health, power efficiency, like a streamline mod or a flow mod for more in your energy pool, then all of that is entirely up to you. You're the player, your Warframe, your fucking choice. So she is a really fun Warframe, and it's one of the few Warframes that I actually really enjoy running around with. I actually enjoy running around with home more than I do my Nova. It's just, it's just a lot of fun, melting enemies, just melting faces. So hopefully this video will have helped you in choosing whether or not to go after Saren. And if, uh, I, I can only recommend that I really, really enjoy my Saren. And if you've enjoyed the video in any way, shape or form, then by all means, leave a comment in the section below. Let me know what you think of her. Whether you're going to go for her, whether you're you having trouble finding her fucking patch dropping off the boss, which I'm having with Trinity at the minute. 
uh, like I said, leave a comment. And if you like the video, then hit that like button. And if you're feeling more than generous, then hit that subscribe button. Thanks very much for watching.